Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you this pretty interesting stylus that is made specially for the iPad. This was sent to me by Elton Leong, who is the inventor of this stylus. First of all, I have to say that this is a prototype, so the finishing is going to look a bit rough at certain areas. Elton Leong has put up this stylus on Kickstarter to raise funds to make more of them. And in today's uh, video, I'm going to show you how it works, whether or not it's worth your money, and whether or not you should back this stylus on the Kickstarter page. This is the Kickstarter page for the pen. This pen is called the Sona Pen. It's marketed as the world's most affordable smart pen for iPads. And it looks like they have already raised enough money to make this campaign a success. Over 1,200 have backed the project. I'll put the link to this project page in the video description below. Let me show you some of the features of this pen. The main selling point of this dollars is its ability to support pressure sensitivity and palm rejection. But the caveat or limitation is how well it works really depends on the app that you use. This dollars uses a disc tip. So this disc is a transparent disc and it's connected to the tip here by this rubber-like material which I've been told that it is quite durable. As you draw or write with this stylus, you can see the lines through the transparent disc. This is a very accurate stylus. The lines, they always appear directly beneath the tip. The other feature is the cable that is attached to the pen. It is this cable, which looks like a 3.5 mm audio jack and it plugs into the audio jack of the iPad. So this is a very thin cable. This is supposed to go into the audio jack. This is how it looks like with the pen connected to the iPad. This cable, it comes in different colors. And this cable is longer compared to the diagonal of this iPad, which is 12.9 inches. Sonar Pen uses the high-res analog to digital converter that's inside the iPad for pressure detection. So the pressure data is actually transmitted through the cable to the pen, unlike other Bluetooth styluses. The build quality of this pen, it feels quite solid, but it feels a bit light. Here on the side, we have one shortcut button. I was told that this tip is replaceable and some replacement tips will be included with the box. There is supposed to be a pen holder included that can clip to the side of the iPad so that you can use the pen holder to hold the pen but it's not included with the pen that I have. These are the different colors for the cables. Right now, the only apps that support Sonar Pen and its features are ZenBrush 2 and Zoom Notes. So apps like Procreate, MidiBank, and other apps, they do not support pressure sensitivity and palm rejection. I'm going to try ZenBrush 2 first before I show you how this pen performs with non-supported apps. This is ZenBrush 2. I have already paired the pen with this app. So the option here, it pops up. Sonar Pen, I can click on this. I can assign a specific shortcut to the side button here. I'm going to make it undo. I have the option to turn on palm rejection, which I'm going to do. And I can choose the pressure sensitivity level. I'm going to keep it at medium. All right, now I'm going to test for pressure sensitivity and palm rejection. I'm going to put my palm on the screen now and I'm going to draw a few diagonal lines to see if there are any jitter effects. So this is quite good. The line is very straight. There is no jitter at all. Notice here the line did not appear and here it did not appear again so let me draw a bit harder maybe it's because i did not press down hard enough so sometimes i find that the lines they just do not appear for whatever reason i'm not sure if it's because of my palm so as i draw with my finger you can see that 
no lines appear so palm rejection it does work but for some reason the lines they do not appear let's use this to sketch something to see if it actually works for sketching so earlier on I tried to draw some lines and they do not appear but now it seems like this pen is working fine it seems that I'm not able to zoom so let me sort of uh, turn on the shortcuts here so that now I can zoom now with the zoom on the palm rejection is a bit iffy so if you really want the palm rejection you do have to turn the zoom off notice the line is not appearing again so sometimes I have to draw again two times just to make sure that the lines they appear so it can be a bit frustrating but sometimes it just works uh, well but sometimes not that well so the performance is inconsistent the issue with the lines not appearing I'm not sure if this is the problem with this prototype pen or or something else or if it's with the app let me clear this page and try and draw again so pay attention to whether or not the lines they appear when I am drawing but once the lines once they appear you can use it to uh, draw very long lines like this so the performance is a bit inconsistent let me try out zoom notes the other app that is recommended for these stylus this is zoom notes so let's try and take some notes with it I'm resting my palm on the screen this is very responsive very fast this app is supposed to support pressure sensitivity as well and it's able to capture my handwriting quite well very accurately in fact let's try some thin lines and try some thick lines so the difference between the thick lines and the thin lines it's not that obvious one major difference between the performance on zoom notes versus ZenBrush 2 is it works more consistently here what I mean by that is every time I put the pen tip on the screen and draw something the lines they will always appear so um, the disappearing lines with ZenBrush 2 might have um, something to do with the app rather than this uh, pen but uh, pressure sensitivity it's not that good because of the pens that are included with this particular app let's try some palm rejection testing so I'm going to write some alphabets while putting my palm on the screen I can see some stray strokes but not a lot so palm rejection it works quite well here if you want to use this to take notes and now let's test out the pen on apps that do not support the features this is Wacom bamboo paper for apps that do not support the features they do not support palm rejection they do not support pressure sensitivity so with this particular app you are actually using the stylus as a capacitive stylus this is very responsive very accurate but because of the lack of palm rejection on this particular app I have a lot of stray strokes this is Medibank Paint Pro if you are going to buy this stylus or support the Kickstarter campaign and you are going to use it on apps that do not support pressure sensitivity uh, I don't think there is 
uh, any reason to buy this pen because you can just buy any other stylus that does not support pressure sensitivity so with Midibank Paint Pro pressure is not supported you can just use any other stylus same applies to Procreate pressure is not supported all the tapering effects that you see here they are actually the pen effects of Procreate not because of pressure sensitivity when the stylus works well it's quite enjoyable to use the performance as mentioned earlier really depends on the app that you use I'm using ZenBrush 2 again this is quite a nice app to draw with but sometimes the lines they just do not appear for some reason the cable it's long enough it's not too much of a hassle the shortcut button it actually works so now I'm using the button here to undo some of the strokes this is definitely quite an unusual stylus that uses the audio jack speaking of audio jack when you're using this stylus it means that you will not be able to use your headphones unless you are using those wireless headphones or earbuds drawing performance I think it's all right with ZenBrush when it works well it's really quite um, fun to use to draw with but when it doesn't work well when the lines they do not appear it can be a bit frustrating but overall I think it still uh, works well with ZenBrush 2 as with other apps well this stylus is not supported hopefully other apps will support the stylus in the future I'm not too um, sure about that some of the performance issues that you saw earlier are what I personally experienced hopefully the retail product it will perform better but right now whether or not it's worth the money I think it's up to you to decide that's all for my review today if you have any questions let me know in the comments section below if I have any updates to my video review I will update my text review and if you want to check out my text review the link is in the video description below as well as the link to the Kickstarter page of the sonar pen thanks for watching see you in the next video bye